Hi, it's Tim Davis again. During these difficult times of being church, I just want to show you a few ways in which I am able to um, try and continue to engage my um, spiritual life and hopefully offer a few hints and suggestions as to how that might work for you as well. Behind me, I have my little... Um, a worship station if you like for, for want of a better word where I have a various a different amount of items which just help me focus on various different things obviously um, here we have my bible um, it's this is actually my own copy but the ones we have in church which I've got my um, bible reading plan which we do through the year and obviously that's a great thing to be able to do and continue to do during this times and um, I've just crossed off where I've got to as we're doing that um, into 1 Samuel at the moment so that's one thing i also have a selection of different prayer books you may have something different or similar at home where you may wish to choose um stuff from the iona community um different um books which we can use throughout the um well for whenever really different times of the year and um, there are some other ones uh, different prayers um for during the day afternoon and evening for different times of the year as well I've got this little book here, which is another type of prayer book called Reimagining the Examine. And that just helps us to reflect on the day and going through the day and actually think back of where have we met God? Where has God been real to us? Um, and in fact, also, where has God felt a bit absent? So that helps us to think of that. Um, another type of prayer book here um, and another one here as well. This particular one is one with um, some artistic pictures in it as well, as well as some music um, and some poetry as well. So um, a, a lot of um, interesting stuff in this particular one. It comes with a CD as well to play the songs. Um, these are just some of my resources. You may well have your own. You may have an old prayer book from church as well. Um, feel free to use that um, in whatever ways you find helpful. Along here, I also have some symbols. Um, I've got um, a chalice here, which is obviously represents the cup of um, uh, and wine for Christ. Some prayers. Um, my sister actually made this for me many, many years ago when I was a child. Um, about Lord, give me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change that which I ought, and wisdom to know the difference. Again, very powerful prayer, one which is familiar, I'm sure, to all of us. Um, other prayers and other resources here as well. Also got some round tacks here. I'm not quite sure what they're doing there, but however, they're part of the table. Um, candle burners, you might find candles helpful. Again, they're available. Well, I've got them here. Um, and some incense in this little pot, some crosses, a picture of a... a baby in the palm of a hand representing the father's love in um of us as his children caring for us praying hands made out of olive wood from bethlehem and my ash a crown of thorns and a rock from um a beach in cornwall as it happens i got that about 10 years ago um, another little cross here some tissues and a couple of signs and a palm leaf as well dice which also which is used um in the bible we hear at the crucifixion time as well where the the soldiers were gambling for the clothes of Jesus so what I'm really trying to share with you and say is that there are all sorts of ways and things that we might be able to find God at home in the resources that we have on your bookshelves maybe there's an old family bible or something that you may have um, which you can read and get out those old stories, have a look at them, offer them in prayer. And if you want any resources at all, then do feel free to contact me and I'm sure we can we can find some, I can lend some to you um, and all sorts of things like that. So be encouraged, um, stay faithful and remember that God is always in charge and in control and he loves you and me and all of us very much indeed. Thank you for watching. Please stay in contact and I hope to speak with you soon. Bye bye.